Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Saul Castaneda with MCSC Green Wheels and we're continuing on with our build Sergeant Reckless. Gotta apologize to everybody, it's been taking us some time, but we've been doing some digging around because as you guys know, we want to be Mr. Perfectionist and whatever and whatnot, and we know we're not, but we want to have a horn on our car. So along with that, we again, as usual, got into a really big rabbit hole of things. And you know, for a lot of people that go around and say, yeah, 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 these cars are all the same. Don't worry about it. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. It's not the same. As for many of you guys out there like myself, those that are out there building them, guys, you know that no, I can almost feel like no Fox body is actually the same. If it comes down to harnessing, if it comes down to steering, if it comes down to even to the simplest things as what we're about to go through, the SRS, which for us is our uh, airbag. Now, as you guys know, we're not going to be running an airbag, but we're not also we're also not going to go with like one of those fancy Momo steering wheels either. We're going to try and keep it as stock as possible, so the airbag will be on there, non-functioning. Um, along with that, we're going to go ahead and switch out the last you know the last video you guys saw. You guys saw that we were going to change out our cam and because it was faded, and then we're going to change our ignition switch, which which we're still going to do. But the main purpose of the video was to get a horn installed in Reckless right before we put on the fenders, and you know seal that whole side up as we're getting closer to this finish but along with that like i said we ran into some things and more and more we started taking it apart cleaning it up and we noticed the steering wheel looked like crap and then we went ahead and bought a new steering wheel so our new steering wheel well to give you an example this was our old steering wheel doesn't look bad we got the buttons and everything and you know as far as we knew when we got the car everything worked well i'll show you what's been going on along with doing all the new wiring and get everything set up I kept noticing that I kept blowing like a little 5 amp fuse you know underneath the dash panel every time I flicked it on but I didn't I figured since I didn't have the lights and I didn't have like the turn signals and all that stuff sorry I'm sweating it's hot um, I figured I was somewhere I had a little cross wire 5 amp not a big deal the car was starting up fine as far as we wanted to get the engine done well, the more and more digging around I want to do, set up this horn and everything, we started taking this apart and then we went into the rabbit hole of getting, you know what, steering wheel looks beat to crap. Let's go ahead and revamp it so we went ahead and get our new steering wheel with cruise control set up and everything. You know, we were going to set it up and get our cruise control. We don't have cruise control, but then as we went into the rabbit hole, we figured out, you know, we got the cruise control one and this steering wheel on LMR is about $179.99. Now, as you guys can see, man, it's gorgeous. Now, I put this up here because this belongs to the other one. This doesn't come with it, so this was for the other steering wheel for that one. And it's gorgeous. It's very, very well made, you know what I mean? And it feels good. It has... It smells good. But we figured, you know what, man, we're not going to be doing cruise control. We're not going to be doing any of that. So we opted out to get, as you guys know, we always got to do something to upstage ourselves and feel stupid later when people start screaming at us. But we decided to go ahead and get ourselves a Cobra non-cruise control steering wheel. Now this steering wheel in LMR is about $224.99. And guys, I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side shot in a minute here, Mano Negra, if you don't mind. It's, it looks great. And obviously, as you guys could tell, I don't have these, uh, these uh, openings for my cruise control set up like I would on this guy over here. And... Uh, Although you could see that the material looks good. This is an old one here, and obviously, and you know, it looks good. So we decided to opt out and go for our Cobra style steering wheel, which then led us into figuring out we have to still get a horn set up in the process of getting a horn. And again, there's people out there telling us these things are the same and they're blah, 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 and yakety schmackety. You know, we were looking around and you know what, it's ridiculous for us to get an SRS module or what they call a clock spring. And I'll show you guys that in a minute once I pull this thing out without breaking it because it's going here. The clock spring actually carries the power to the horn and your cruise control setup. And I'll show you what that guy looks like. So bear with me guys, I already took this one apart. So this is the original clock spring that came with Staff Sergeant Reckless. And this guy right here. This goes to your uh, cruise control and your coast and your reset and then the little black one kind of gets branched off into the horns. And this guy right here goes to your airbag. Now if you guys can see I got a ribbon here and back to what I was telling you I, was kept, I kept getting 
a 5 amp fuse blown I mean I didn't understand why well, when we started to install the horn we realized that we had no power whatsoever in this thing I wasn't getting back a continuity test I was doing continuity trying to figure out what the hell was going on couldn't get anything couldn't get a response couldn't get a reading so you know waste not one I just got to get curious the curiosity got the best of me I ripped this off this thing is coiled inside of there and it's coiled in both ways it goes up halfway one way and then it gets coiled the other way so it's for your car to steering wheel so you don't mess it up but if you guys could see right there you guys see that right there okay cool that starts to come apart and what happened with ours the end of this guy as you guys can see is really really long and this is just very thin copper encased in like a plastic very thin all right and there you go those are all your wires and what it does it kind of goes right in here like so and then it kind of connects to all these right here I'm um, I didn't open this so you guys are gonna have to do your own experiment to find out how that sits in there so when I open this thing up and I pop this open I noticed one thing at the very bottom there of this connector at the very back because this connector I'll show you again comes right up in here like this um, pushing it around yeah so it goes into the clock spring into the back of it like so you guys get the idea but uh, what I noticed were in the bend which was right in here I noticed that this piece was completely now I lost the other piece because it's been sitting up here for a couple of days oh here it is it was pretty much like that so it was just keered over like this and I could tell I had some burning in there so that's kind of what it was so the reason that I wasn't getting my continuity or I wasn't getting my horn to work was because these wires were all crushed up so again leading us back to the thing of going ahead and looking for a clock spring that was going to be a working SRS system we were like you know what man I'm not paying $154 for something that may or may not work for our car well, I know that we're, we're going to do some morphing with some connectors here and there Dorman's got one set up but it only is for like 94 and up I think it goes to 94 to 94 98, to 98 yeah. so you know take your chances right. guys so we scoured around for a couple week for about a week and then we tried to get a couple other components like I had mentioned we got the horn components which costed us about 60 bucks and I got those right here we got those off of LMR so they're clean we haven't installed these yet because they're going to go into our new steering the other thing that we got, like we told you, we got the connector for our multi-switch for our turn signals that I broke, which you guys saw that. And another little thing we got our cover to our uh, fuse box there. So getting all that and looking around for it, we weren't going to make the expense of the clock spring. So what we did, we did have an extra spare uh, column down here in our place. So we figured, you know what, let's cannibalize it. All the other cars had their own columns and they're already put to the side. So we might as well did, went ahead and did that. To our dismay, we thought we had a 93 column, or so it said it was a 93 column, and uh, more and more again, they're not the same, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you why it's not the same. As I showed you earlier, our clock spring to our GT has a big ribbon all wound up inside, where the clock spring on this one, which I'm not entirely sure where the hell it came from, but I know it was a 93. I don't know if it was a notch, and I don't know if it was a GT and no don't know the special series of it but I know that this clock spring obviously by the way the connectors are and I'll show you the comparison these are coming out out of the back bottom of the steering going into your cluster or going into your harness this would be the one coming out of the new the, the, the one that we cannibalized and as you guys can see these these are older style connectors so it's not the same along with it not being the same at the back of the steering where it sits like this on reckless this was his plate right there since we had the ribbon the ribbon goes right through here and then the connector just hangs out for this particular style of clock spring it's got these little tracks in the back so the power is passed on we don't have a ribbon we have these little tracks where we have these little pieces of copper and they're all spring loaded so you don't want to break this they just sit in there like that and what they do they just pass the power along so when I was talking about a continuity test those that you know what a continuity test obviously you guys know those that don't basically what I'm doing I'm just trying to see if I have connection from one end of the wire to the other so as I was doing just going around checking to see that's my yellow 
My yellow should be right there at the end, and I should get a beep. That's how I know I have full continuity coming through. So I went ahead, I tested this out, and then I went ahead and made sure that it came all the way through the clock spring, which it did. One of the things we were trying to test out right now, trying to see if it worked, but as you guys can see, we have a lot of old stuff in here. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this out. We're gonna go ahead and install this plate on Reckless. Now, I'm gonna give you the comparison real quick. This, this portion will go underneath your ignition switch right here, your locking key tumbler. It's gonna go right underneath here. So it'll peek out right from behind and meet the other cable out at the bottom. Which, it would do the same with the other clock frame, but it was a newer setup and we don't have the little pills. So I'm gonna go ahead and scratch that, bring this guy in. Gonna get him cleaning, and we're gonna go ahead and get him ready to install and get our horn going. So stay tuned, guys. Bye. There you go. So you won't get continuity anywhere else because it's not connected there. So that's gonna be where our horn ground will be. So what I'm doing, I'm using the original relay for the horn relay that was on the original harness that we did on Reckless. And I'm just feeding, the power's already there. All we need is the ground interrupter, which is this is what it's gonna do. As you guys know, uh, Staff Sergeant Reckless is a 1993 Fox Body GT. And uh, so what I did here, I cannibalized our other setup. And I wanted to apologize to you guys on a thing that I had mentioned on the last video where I said that you guys could buy these buns for 60 bucks. You can buy these horn buns on LMR for 60 bucks. I just showed you the box. One of the ones that I told you that I could, you could also buy was the cruise control ones, which we did manage to find. But uh, a good gentleman that I can only assume had these and never used them, you know, he sold them to us. But you can't buy these. Uh, we looked around, we scoured, we tried to get them new because we hate the yellowing on the letters and all that stuff. So, you know, as you guys can see, these are nice and clean. The connector worked fine. And, you know, it came in its packaging, its original packaging from Ford uh, Corporation and whatnot. And it just looks like the gentleman just never used it, never got around to using it, sold the car, whatever, and you know, you know what happens. You buy it, you put it away, you sell the car, and then you find it years later, send in one of your uh oh drawers, you know, and there it is. So we were able to find that, but guys, I'm sorry, you will probably won't be able to find that in the market unless you're gonna scout around for it, or you can call me. It's only three hundred dollars. Inflation. So what I'm gonna do. So I went ahead and get, we got our new uh, multi-switch connector here. Now it's the same, this was actually replaced, but upon removal, it broke off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of these, and then just slide in, repin it the same way that I got it here. I don't wanna have any extra wiring, like, I mean, look at this. I mean, I get it that there's probably some that use everything, but we're not. So we only got a couple wires on this guy, so. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove everything off of this guy so I don't break any of the internal pinnings and internal clips right here. And those guys are right here. Those are these little guys right in here. We're gonna be as careful as we can. There it is. And off it comes. Down. And then, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to be real careful, but I got this stupid scar on my finger. And it's not that it's open or anything it's just that it sucks and I'm not there we go they just need to be moved out a little bit you don't have to hold it down the whole way it just needs to be moved out enough where the clip comes out of this opening right here so once you get it down past that piece boom you're good to go you don't have to hold it down because it will definitely end up putting a little too much force and guess what clip off it comes and there they are so we get ahead yeah. A little bit of a shavings, not bad, not bad. Now, I don't really care about breaking this one because it's broken already. So, what I will do, so I'm gonna do it one at a time, guys, so bear with me. And this. something no doesn't look like it's wider it's just not clipping in there I got it 
upside down. So there is a way that these go in. I'm gonna push that little clip up there to kind of lock it in place. And there it goes. So they're being a little funny because you got to push them back up. But um, so again, guys, just be very careful not to break them. Okay. And then the last one we got is right here. All right. And there we go. So I got them all in. So that's good. What we're gonna go ahead and do and uh, just go ahead and get our uh, multi-switch ready. We're also gonna change out our ignition lock and key. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now since we got all this open. Once we do that, we're gonna set up our uh, our multi-switch connector, uh, actually our you know turn signal lever. We're gonna put our plate on and then we're gonna put our clock spring, then our steering wheel. So right now, I'm gonna take off this key. But before I do, let me locate the new key. It's also from LMR, locking key right here. Go on to the last video we did, guys. We put uh, prices up for everything that we got, even from our $950 sponge here that's our cover for our multi switch. So, for this guy to be removed, if I remember correctly, from not stealing cars. Um, let me see. Where are you? There it is. So how did you get that out? Was it so a basically what you do, now I'll show you like right down here, there's this little pin and that guy goes right in here. So when you turn the key right now, it's open. When you go to turn it off, it's hard to push in. You can't push in that pin. So when you open the key, as you're opening it, all you have to do is hold a little screwdriver in there and as you get to all the way to the end, she pushes right in. It'll go right all the way. It goes all the way in. Oh, no. It's right in the middle there. See, it goes all the way in, and this guy just slides right out, as you guys saw. So, we're not going to have any use for it, but, uh, you know, it still works. It's not like it's got a whole bunch of electronics. Actually, well, never mind. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Because these cars are all different. So, yeah, yeah the, re the reality is just, you know, it's color worn. It, it, here it is. Here's a new one. There's no difference. There's our switch. You know, not a big deal. Uh, so, we're just going to go ahead and pop in this new one. And again, there's a there's a little button right there, and um, it's gonna go in. Mm. Let me see what's going. In here, maybe? No, 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 it's not in there. See, look, this is this came in, and I could see right here why I'm binding. You see how that's flat right there? Yeah, you see how this is. We just open this, and this is how this comes. So, and and this is what I'm I'm looking at right here right now. That wire is connected from end to end. This is missing it. Mm. And there's nothing in here, so it didn't break off in here. So, guys, we're gonna have to send this back to LMR. This thing is. I mean, from the beginning that you saw it, I saw the green on there, but I, I didn't think it was much. But as you guys can see, this is old. Green usually is just like corroded. And just to prove it, we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of scraping here. Now, look at this, look at that. See, this see, This is damaged. This is supposed to be, this is the original we just pulled out. Look at it. And I tell you, look, old, new, and um, that's, that's quite disappointing. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know about whatever, I guess. Um, we're just going to go ahead and 
put our old one back on there and you know look at that look how easy it went in and that's that's binding and oh, this sucks and uh, I mean this this is the things that I I guess we've been facing throughout this whole build um you know we could have just gone to AutoZone and picked this up for 12 bucks and it probably would have been perfect you know and then you want to do everything and get the that two percent discount that you usually get because you order everything together and and this is what we get um uh this uh, i'm just kind of like at a, at a loss for words because you know it's, it's annoying we've been at it for now eight years going on eight years and it's just it's just you know it's just freaking annoying man that it's getting worse and worse so you know, for all you out there that, you know, you buy parts and you guys know what I'm going through, you know, it's, it's disappointing because, you know, it just seems that your goal gets a little bit further back. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm griping and I'm being a baby, I guess, because, you know, I can still use my old one here, but that's not the point, you know. Um, if this was an alternator and I was at a show and my car wouldn't start, I'd be pissed, you know, if this was a starter or anything like that. But it's just an ignition key, my car's in my house, and I have the old one here that'll still work. Still unacceptable. And you know we're gonna send this back, man. We're gonna we're gonna plead our grievance with them. And you know what? Tomorrow morning I'm gonna call my buddies over at the, at the store, and uh, I'll just get a cheap one from them. And we'll show you guys what it'll look like. And uh, it's just freaking disappointing, man. I'm just it's like I'm over it, you know. So whatever. I'm gonna continue forward. We're gonna slap in our old key here. And at least, you know, I just show you guys kind of how to take it off if you do, if you ever run into an issue that you got to replace your lock and key. Uh, that's just, just the way you do it. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's simple because we have no steering wheel here, but you take the cover off and, you know, it's fairly simple. <laughs> so, it's in. Um, there it is. Moving forward because what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know, I mean, uh, it's 9 p.m., uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night, and you know what are we gonna do? You know, so okay, whatever. Not all of us are on that nine to five, and you know when everybody's working, where some of us are nocturnal. So we're just gonna keep moving forward. This is a turn switch signals cam um, for our, also for our uh, what do you call it? Our wipers and our turn signals. And again, we're just switching it out because our old one was just all oh, this was all faded and gone. So nothing, it didn't. It, not that it didn't work. It worked fine. It's just that we just switched, swapped it out because we want to see it that's nice and clean. So we're going to go ahead and swap this one out and connect it all back up in here. As we do this clock spring, get to the end of setting up our horn. We'll go ahead and clip these back in place. Actually, no, I'll just put it off first. <laughs> Probably make my stuff even harder, man. Make this break some, pick another one, I guess, you know. So. Now, these are uh, torque screws. Come on, get in there. And these are uh, 25, T25s, I think they are. T20s, T20s. These are T20 torque screws. All right. So we'll address our ignition a little later. Right now we're gonna go ahead and set this up so we can start putting our dash back on here. But like I said, we're just gonna get our, get our we gotta get our horn to work. Now we're gonna connect all our connectors right back here. Bam. Make sure everything's connected. Yes, sir. There that is. There we go. Last one. Everything's in place, and that looks pretty good. And this is our Dakota digital connector, so I'll we'll put that guy right there. Now, this is our switch. We're gonna put our uh, clock spring plate. This is this little guy right here. I'll go ahead and put him on. And like I said, 
the one for reckless just didn't have this opening it was i showed you guys it was just an opening right here there is no danger it doesn't hit anything it just comes up through the back right here so uh, you'll see that it just doesn't hit it i actually like this setup uh i had an 84 continental obviously the same kind of setup like this this was was on it uh and you know i like it because it just it doesn't have that ribbon that ribbon you saw it kind of it'll bend and break this will can, can keep the constant contact on there because these are spring loaded as you guys can tell so we'll go ahead and put this guy on here We also were shopping around for this guy, but we couldn't find it either. So we just like, all right, we opted yeah. out to that, you know. All right. So this black cable right here, this is our ground cable. Fished it out of the loom and I've made sure it went all the way out there. I did a continuity today, so I'm not, there is no breaks in this bad boy, so it goes all the way through. We're gonna put it to our ground right here, but first, let me just make sure that we're going in the right direction here. Where's the clip? All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so just to make sure, let me get my meter. So I'm just gonna grab my ground. No contact here, no contact here. There it is. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just do this guy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get him up, prettied up. I'm gonna put them together and uh, seal them up pull over my slack, make sure I don't have anything overhanging over here where it can get pinched, get it ready to the horn, and then set up our clock spring and our steering wheel. Okay. Box for the locking key. Locking key. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed. Yeah. Cause this is just like, you know, it's, like, it's, it's a pain in the ass, you know, you gotta, you gotta send this back. Oh, here's your blade. Here's your blade right there. Thank you. Just whatever. Yes, yeah, send it back, you know, waste time. Mm -hmm. So a lot of time we have return stuff, bell housing, you know, just. Right. This is just the ground, and like I said, this is just going to be a ground interrupter. Oh, let me shut this off. And this relay right here is our horn relay, which is, oh. It fell off, but that dark blue cable right there it runs all the way to our horns. So that's kind of how it was on factory. The, we, have, we actually have the factory connectors on there. So that's when I saw I have power, but I wasn't getting any ground through here because the contact wasn't being made because our ribbon inside our clock screen was completely destroyed. Now, this is kind of a surefire wear that I know it's going to be making contact at all times. Now, every time we hit that horn button, we're going to hear it. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up. Put a little piece of uh, shrink wrap on there and uh, start to tuck away and get this, put this to rest so we can continue to move forward on this bad boy because we still got a little bit more to go. We still got fenders to install. I'm waiting for a couple of uh, fuses to get in for my uh, alternator and my starter. I'll show you guys what I did, what I found out not too long ago, which is, and again, you know, that, that was my fault. Nobody else is but mine. Let me start this over. Uh, nobody else is but mine, but you know what? I'm correcting it now. I'm glad I caught it, because it would have been kind of catastrophic for us. But um, yeah, we're doing, we're, we caught that, I caught that in time, so we won't have to worry about that. So what we're gonna do, I'm waiting for a couple more of those uh, breakers to get in. I'm getting a, a, a 260s and 280s to come in um obviously we're going to use some more on the grunt because he's coming in next and uh so we're going to put those on we're going to put one on here for his starter and alternator and just to make sure that uh it doesn't blow upon charge upon starting once we do that we should be okay so one of the things i'm gonna put on right now is this little dust protector that goes 
at least they make durable plastic. And this guy right here just goes right over there like that. Bam. Look at that. Like a glove. All right. And what it really does is just going to, when it settles in, and we put the cover on there, it's just not going to make, just, you don't see the big gaping hole when you have that, the nice cover on there. It's just going to, you know, hide that. So that's okay. It's not a big deal. So there we go. We got, oh. Fire. Don't use a lighter. You'll ruin this. Whatever. Don't worry, guys. I'm a professional. I set things on fire all day. There we go. Looking nice. Like I said, guys, I started to fish this guy out, and that's about as. That's a. Oh, I think I did it too much. Let me bring it back down. I'll pull it out a little bit more a little, in a little bit. Right now, I think I should be cautious just in case I need to pull back and check. I see wires, and I know you guys say, like, man, Sal, you're never going to finish, and blah, blah, blah. Bear with me, guys. It, it's, it's closer than you think. I know that the visual of it may be lying. I know that it doesn't look as good. I know you may think I'm like Joe Biden, but I'm gonna finish it, trust me. So this is my wire, and this is my ground. Kind of fished it out, as you guys can see. I took all this apart again after I had it all done up. So I had to open it up, fished it back out, made sure it wasn't broken. So now I found it, and here's our original blue wire coming in from the inside. Again, this is, uh, again, this is how I found it. So I'm just gonna repair that when we get out here. But when I tested it, yes, I do have power coming here, and it's direct power, 12 volts. So once I get this up and running, and I'll show you, we should be able to get the power going with the ground interrupter here. And uh, we should be okay. The next challenge will be just the placement of where we're going to put them. So right now what I'm going to do real quick, I'm just going to do a quick continuity test just to make sure that I'm getting power from the little button of the steering wheel all the way here. So when I lay down my clock spring, and I know when I hit that button, I should be in the money. So put it right here, and it's the middle guy. Butter, baby. That's butter. That's great. No contact there, no contact there. Later in time, if I want to use these guys, I probably can, but, you know, now we have the big fancy Cobra steering wheel. What the hell are we going to need them for? But anyways, here we go. Bam, 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 bam. All right, cool. Just wanted to make sure, just having some fun now, but uh, it's working. So what we're going to do now is set up. Our, the rest of our clock spring. Now, go ahead. Now, when I told you guys, I, I these are the old ones, and I butchered them up, and it's a little difficult to follow. Here are the other two wires. Uh, obviously, the powers are coming in, and then your grounds, and I butchered them up. It was really hard to follow because it, it all kind of goes in here. So there's really no way for you to kind of like separate what you need because it's it's all based out of here. So it's kind of all working in unison. So what I did, I just made sure that I isolated what I need and I have it right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and set this bad boy up. And uh, I should actually put some dielectric grease in the back right here so I don't get that green stuff anymore. Um, so that's what I think I'm going to do real quick. I was about to say, man. Damn you, Ford. <sighs> well, that's what it goes. That's how it goes. And you guys can see it's got a little a little bounce, and that's because the little pills in the back are making contact. Now, once I put this in, I'm going to give it a quick test run to make sure that my continuity is working perfectly. Let's get it done. You shut up. that I'm going to end up doing right now. I'm actually going to clip this guy off right here. This is for my airbag. We're not using it. 
we're not gonna need it. I don't want any more clutter inside this car than I already need. And not only that, I've already terminated whatever power may be going up here to that. So I'm not too worried about that getting any power or just being there dormant because we're never gonna use that airbag again. We plan to die like men. Bye-bye, airbag. I didn't get there. All right. So, well, here we go. We have our connection here. Now, this is going to mimic kind of like in a steering wheel. I hope I do it right. Because, uh... Yeah, I'm sure you did. And what I'm gonna do again, I'm just looking for connectivity. So I'm gonna put it right here. Oops. Oh, that's one. And now I'm gonna put one right here. Now, naturally, yeah, you're right. I sh should be it. Nope. It is. I'm making contact all the way through. That means one thing. We're gonna have a horn. So let's finish it up. Sexy. And uh, we're gonna fish these guys through. Just pop in. There we go. That looks pretty nice. It'll keep the wires kind of snug, I hope. And in there. And that looks pretty good to me, man. I mean, that's not bad. So, as you guys saw, I, like I said, I butchered up that. Uh, that, those other connectors and whatnot. So I made. I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna bring them in here, All right? And uh, the other thing I'm gonna do when I screw this in, I'm actually gonna put a small ground cable with a law with a big uh, uh, open sc uh, uh, eyeball screw right in here. That's where my ground's gonna come from. So uh, I'm hoping that's actually gonna work out. It should. I don't think it shouldn't. But uh, yeah, this should be fine. This should work out just great. Typically, they always put it there. I could actually just tie it up in here to one of these screws that you know work for the extraction of the steering wheel. But I'll see what I work come up with at the at the moment right now. What I'm trying to do is just get this all settled in. So he will sit in here. We'll come in here like this, like this. And we have a little cover that will go over like that. So you'll, we'll pretty much just see it come out through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these all prepped up. Get them uh, safety in so we don't lose a connection. That's a little difficult again. Like my fingers just, I just tore that thing up a couple of days ago. And Like I said, this guy's going to be our trigger for our, this is going to be the ground, so he's going to connect to the ground. Then said, this wire is a little thicker than this one, so. Arrange him, so. Now again, guys, this is just the way I'm doing it. If you guys know a better way to do it, please, man, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Saul, you're dumb. You didn't do it like this. Saul, you should have done it like that. You know, you should use more booger or whatever. 
or if you guys know somebody or if you're that somebody that is looking for a way to do it this is my rendition on how to do it um i hope it helps that's all i can say well, he drinks the best Come on, tucked them away too good. Ow. All of a sudden, I, he reminded me of when I used to do that to my dad. Hold the light, ouch. And for your view and pleasure guys, this light is like really bright. It's like one of these garage lights, so it does get a little hot. But uh, hopefully that you guys can see what the heck we're doing. That's why I am willing to burn myself for you. Is, or allow myself to get burned for that matter for use I'm gonna tuck him in like that and this little guy should be right underneath there same thing for our friend here this guy goes in there like that and like that okay stay in there guys so now where's our cover them towards the back now it's got some clips in there so as you guys can see like right here they expand so they just pop right in there try not try to be gentle with it man so you don't break it because uh then you're gonna have this thing just flopping around in here and there that is so that's what we're gonna do right here this is gonna be our ground so i'm gonna clip him here I'm gonna put a little eyeball screw that will go into here. I'm gonna find me a nice little tiny screw in there once I set the steering wheel in because again I may have an issue with the uh, circumference of the washer that's on the steering on the on the actual screw to the steering wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Uh, once we install the steering wheel, if it seems that uh, we're getting it's too close or something, we'll we'll see if we could get one for the steering wheel instead. But for right now, let's keep forward here and like I said we're gonna cut this guy in half like that. All right. I had some nothing that alright good this is how it's gonna be ladies and gentlemen so of course this guy will connect to the inside which our connector is going to come right in through here uh we're going to put this guy on you'll see so he'll sit right around here then our uh airbag will come in and do the rest so our actually this guy will sit up here like that and then uh we're going to bring him like right off of there my idea is to just get him like right here and bam right in there um and so we have a lot less you know i, I don't want to have too much in here this guy's gonna tuck away in here with the other uh, connector, uh, so it's out of the way of the airbag uh, once it sits down. So for right now, let's go ahead and see if we could mock this up and see if we can get some horn action. And there it is. So, just to kind of give us an idea, so this guy's gonna I'm gonna clip him in right there. Probably just lay him in here as best we can. I'll kind of jam him in there later. And this guy should be technically gonna be working for us. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess no time at the present, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. These are. The ones that we picked up from uh, LMR, we got two of them, high and low, ignore that. And uh, basically what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little test run. Uh, my power's in, and uh, we should see that we get a horn, even if the ignition's off. Oops, let me see if I can get this guy back on there. All right, guys, fingers crossed. Oh. Oops, well, it's at 12. All right. So, I'm gonna see if 
if I have power all the way here. So I should have 12 volts there. Let me see if I can. Uh oh. One. Yeah, let me see. I'm going to hold it in there. Let me see. Oh no. I got no ground to it. That's weird. So to go but it ain't going thought I got both of them working mm -hmm. right. oh oh that yeah that came off investigation on why the hell that's happening. Let's see. Alright. Let me get these off. The thing in here is touching. Whoop up. Get this little guy. Mmm. This thing's broken in here. something yep. always something all right let me see if I can resolve this real quick man Regular. This one's not touching anything. No. Mm. See if I didn't drop a little piece of wire in there or something. I mean, there was nothing for it to touch. So. See. Oops, I gotta take this off. Put this back on there. You need that ground, right? Like that. Yeah. I can help. You know? Yeah. These little connectors. There we go.
so that's all the way over so it's one two three four five five and a half Let's try this again. Try it again. Now we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. See what the heck we did wrong. Or what the heck I did wrong. Alright, give it some power. See what it does. Still nothing. figure out what the hell's going on. I am getting a signal down there, but for some odd reason, it's not, it's not making that, uh, contact. That contact. Um, my horns work, so I don't get it. What can possibly be going wrong? You know, um, maybe a different, further ground, something that's Probably not gonna have to be on the steering wheel, I don't know. Cause this should be working. Let's see. There it is. Yes. For some odd reason, it's not making the signal all the way over here. I'm really not sure why, so. I'm gonna have to go do a little bit further more investigating and see what I can find. Um, so stay tuned guys. Mm -hmm. Now, here I am again to disappoint you friends. Um, uh, Unfortunately, right now, what I'm getting, I am getting, uh, my relay's not working. I thought it was, and it's not. Um, I actually tapped into the main power of the relay instead of going into the lead of the feed that will give me my click. And then right now that I'm checking it, it's not working. So we're going to go ahead and get another relay for it. And then what I'm actually going to do, I'm, I was trying to keep in the old stuff, but you know what? I'm done trying to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get me a little relay kit and uh, just set it up the way it should be done. And this is, uh, obviously I'm getting power through this, so I'm gonna keep the connections that I got here on my steering wheel, and then just transfer the relay in and make that work out for us. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off guys, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as we can, uh, as soon as I get a couple, uh, you know, one relay, and then we'll get the next video up. Hate for the delays guys, but as you guys can see, not everything falls into plan, not everything's perfect. We uh, started off bad by looking at our, um, ignition switch so I should have taken that as an omen and just gone to bed needless to say we're gonna go ahead and march through this we are already at almost at the finish line so we might as well just finish it off so guys I want to thank everybody on our Facebook page please go on there look for a Mustang or any other of the other cars that are on the Fox, Fox body uh, forum or their 
platform. You can go on there, go on our Facebook page, MCSC Green, uh, Green Wheels Facebook, and I want to thank everybody on our Instagram page. Thank you, everybody, for the 8,600 people that are uh, watching us, and we're going to keep bringing you as much of this content as we possibly can. And again, everybody here on our YouTube channel, guys, please don't forget, subscribe. That's the best way that you can help us out, and for us to keep bringing you this content. For It may help you, or it may just help you to just talk shit to me. Either which way, let's bring the community together. Guys, signing out. To the next one. See you soon. Have a